Hello everyone, welcome back to Second Life's Travels. Today we're looking at the Upward Spiral, another Halloween uh, area here for October. Part of the Haunted Places Tour and Hunt. And this place intrigued me because it's one, very dark. You basically have to have almost advanced lighting to uh, make it work well here. To uh, have good lighting. Uh, they give you this pumpkin that's a light that I'm already wearing. And as you can see right here, it's basically uh, saying the same thing as that you want advanced lighting on, you want the uh, preferences to be high. This looks like a picture of the people that have made this place, but uh, yeah, we'll be going up this very dark spiral that goes off into the sky. It's sort of like um, you travel upward, you'll see, I guess I would call them scenes of different things, like uh, along the way. Uh, there'll be different things that are like Halloween oriented that we'll be taking a look at. And eventually we'll reach the top and see what leads us to there, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that a surprise. It looks like we're in a church at the moment, which has quite a bit of a fire problem going on, it looks like. Looks like somebody's maybe been doing a ritual here. That's a lot of keys on the wall. But we'll go ahead and, uh, oh, there's a statue over here. Let's take a look at that. Looks a bit, uh, yeah, they look a little bit, uh, creepy there. There's also another, uh, building over here opposite of this way before we even get to the spiral, so go ahead and take a look in here. Looks like a bit more of a triangle building, uh, some form of home, perhaps. And we got these eyeball plants that I love seeing. That's a neat looking door design. Hmm, I wonder who's gonna live here. Uh, yes, yeah, so it looks like a uh, witch's house. Very nicely dark blue themed. A lot of potion making it looks like going on. Candles. Neat little coffin here that has a design into it that I uh, don't often see. Yeah, it looks like many different vials of different types here. Case of emergency, break. It looks like it's broken, but nobody took the axe. It's been overgrown. Maybe it doubles as a shop, too. I don't know. Popothecary Pop shop. I don't know if I even pronounced that correctly. Nice looking kitty there. Alrighty. I guess we'll go ahead and move on to the actual spire now. That's a nice moon there, too. I like all these little things with the uh, overgrown flowers and vines on it and stuff like that. It looks really nice. So you can see some whoever uh, I think I don't know if it's maybe one person or maybe perhaps more, but they did a very good job on this place. It seems like to me. But okay, so as you can see uh, from first person view, it's uh, you don't really see much of the pathway in front of you. You could tell there's a pathway due to how dark it is because it's darker than the sky. But the only light you really see is. Uh, from these, what I like to call basically scenes as we go up here. We'll see different things like this along the sides of the spiral. This looks to be a cornfield of some creatures hanging around in it along with the scarecrow here. Though it looks like the scarecrow doesn't mind that much. I think he's just happy to have friends. And on over to this next spot here, which looks to be Poe oriented. Perhaps a look into his study. It looks like maybe somebody was having a snack here along with a little bit of murder. As you can already tell, there's a beating of the heart within the walls.
Here it looks like we have a grisly scene here of a... Guessing a chop up in the bathroom here. Whoever did it seems to have enjoyed it immensely, as the amount of blood splattered about everywhere is quite gruesome. In fact, there appears to be a head in the bathtub. Took a strike at the mirror as well. Yeah, looks like the circus is in town. Even though the sign says closed, this clown clearly says we're open. Well, that's a nice looking cake there, actually. Guess maybe this is like a stage area, I assume. Nothing actually there, though. Yeah, the place seems to be a rundown carnival or amusement park of sorts. Got an old ring toss stand here. Looks like it's seen better days. Some old prizes here. Looks like the table has collapsed or counter. The old rundown Ferris wheel. You can see a little bit of the uh, further spiral up ahead. Eh, old bumper car ride area. Bumper cars in Second Life is a pretty fun thing. King, gritty. A lot of the horses seem to be missing pieces. This one's missing its head. Continuing on. Here's we're heading into a graveyard next, with many, many hands poking out of the ground. Seems some of them weren't uh, too keen on being buried already. One of these guys seems to finally be touching the ground after going through a uh, pole there. Not a fun time. We got a creature roaming about here and seems to be just speeding along now actually trying to get away from us I guess <laughs> oh skeleton jumps up at us guess must be guarding the corpses This guy seems to this guy seems to be seeing better days. Trapped within this crypt with the pile of bones on either side of him. We're getting fairly far up here now. Some grass ahead. It looks like we're reaching somewhere a bit more woodland. It looks like we're coming up against another shack going on here. Something with a, vi a vibrant uh, purple inside, it looks like, or maybe a violet. Looks like this witch has uh, seen uh, better days. All it takes is one trip into the cauldron. It looks like her place was fairly well uh, supplied. Oh, 
potions upon potions, books upon books. Even has an owl. Looks like that mirror is haunted. A very uh, mundane bedroom though, I have to say. I guess when you have a living room that looks like that, you don't need much else. More of the eyeball plants. They're all watching us. Yeah, it looks like we're going up a piece of wood now, though it looks like the path's back to normal. It looks like we come against some uh, s marshland, I think. A skeleton getting ready to play a ghostly tune. This place actually seems fairly nice. Nice place to sit down at, I think. So three statues again over there. And I guess the pathway would lead to uh, more forest. Body hidden under the bridge. Wouldn't have seen it if I was still in first person view. And at this point, we're heading up towards the end of the spiral here. We'll finally be able to take a look at what's up here. And it appears that at the top of the spiral, there is in fact a haunted house. So we're going to be exploring that in a moment. Just going to take a little look around the front yard. Here's they already have their hearse ready. You don't often see many uh, places that are as dark as this. Uh, there's a little bit of light inside the... <laughs> There is a little bit of light inside of the house here. But for the most part, I think all the darkness adds pretty well to it. Especially since a lot of the stuff kind of has a glow to it, like the chandeliers. Plenty of portraits all around. Those dolls are following me. This chandelier is just spinning around in place. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what these uh, portraits are like. Very melty. It looks like we have the kitchen here. Which oftentimes you'll see the dining room set up, but you don't often saw, oftentimes see the actual kitchen set up. And there's a doll in that... Uh, Pantry, also staring at me. Another blurry, melted portrait on the wall. And whatever was down here has been blicked up, bricked off. Portrait of a woman, it looks like. We have an inhabitant of the house sitting here having a relaxing time in the living room, I guess. Ooh. I 
Another bricked off pathway. Oh, there's some treats here on the ground. Things seem to be getting just bloodier and really kind of corrupted the further we go ahead. Hello there, a skeleton. Yeah, it looks like a playroom, I think. No, thank you. I don't want any tea. It looks like everybody's floating in this room. Another creepy doll right in the corner there. They got some good placements for those. clock is going off. And we got some more portraits here. All of them are melty. Definitely a theme here. Very surreal. And this room is too. <laughs> so not expecting to see probably like two dozen dolls strung up in this room. Looks like whoever lived in this room is dead too in the ground. And another bricked off wall here with a nice message for us. Alrighty. I do think that does it for our tour of the Upward Spiral. Another nice Halloween place here in Second Life. Do go, I do hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And have a happy Halloween.